Yesterday's quake emerging from a combination of two small fault lines near the Mojave Desert. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano spoke to a seismologist and joins us live from Tecolote Canyon Park. And Rena, you're standing on top of a local fault line. Yeah, that's right. Good evening, you two. We're right here at Rose Canyon Fault. It's one of our local faults that are smaller and lesser known, like the one from yesterday's large quake. Living in California, we can never say we never saw it coming. But the thing about this earthquake on July 4th, seismologists say it was very rare. It comes along here and then it meets another fault perpendicular. And that's not typically what I work on or what I've seen before. It wasn't even close to California's most known and large fault line, the San Andreas. This is where our magnitude 6.4 occurred, and you can see it's not on any of these really well-known faults. Right. So it's occurring on a fault that's perhaps unmapped and unknown. Here in San Diego, there are also some small, lesser-known fault lines, like the Rose Canyon Fault. It meets the shore near La Jolla, travels right underneath Interstate 5 through downtown and exits out of the Silver Strand. We have the Rose Canyon Fault, but it's seismically not very active. Seismologist Dr. Debbie Kilb says it's been quiet for more than 100 years, but if a quake were to emerge out of it, it could potentially be very damaging. Being along the coast, San Diego could possibly be underwater. Yes, you could definitely get a tsunami from that. In preparation, the city is retrofitting many buildings like the iconic California Tower in Belgium. Balboa Park. By the end of the seven month project, the tower should be able to withstand a significant quake. But Dr. Kilb says aside from buildings, we should always be prepared for the next big one. Now's a good time to just look around and say, is there anything really breakable on my shelves that I should take down? Are my bookcases actually secured to the wall? So just do a little walkthrough. Dr. Kilb says a tsunami is most likely here in San Diego after a large earthquake near an active fault off the Oregon or Washington coast. But in the meantime, the most important thing that we, he, we can do as San Diegans, of course, is to have that conversation with our family and have a three day emergency preparedness kit ready to go. Reporting live at Tecolote Canyon Park, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News.